Today we're going to finish our Claude Monet water lily painting with the Japanese bridge. We're going to use watercolors. And first of all, take your paper and we're going to spray water all over it to get it wet. Spray only on your paper. Now in the middle we're just going to do all blue colors. And so I'm going to use the turquoise blue and I just sort of dab it on here and there and let the water sort of take it. If you want to put a little bit more water on you can. It sort of bleeds. We're going to save the bottom for green and the top for green. That'll be the trees. Now there's a, this is a turquoise blue. I'm going to wash my brushes for my brush and go into the other blue. I'm going to add a hint of purple. Just to make it prettier. Now I'll add green up for the trees. adding a little bit of blue for the sky just to mix it in a little. Maybe another spritz of water. And then I'm going to do green at the bottom. This is the shore. And now to make little grass lines, I'm going to take my brush Dip it in the green. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to flick it up. Flick go from the bottom up in different directions. And I lift it as I go. So then it looks sort of like grasses in the front of the water lilies. Before you finish and put it on the drying rack, give it a little bit more water. Just light spray. And then let me know, and I'll come by, and I'm going to put salt all over it. And when I do that, it makes these little tiny sparkly, um, well, it sort of draws the paint in and makes little sparkles on it. If it seems a little dry, I might put a bit more water on it. You can see it starting to work. Then I want you to get a cardboard from the drying rack. Slip the cardboard under your paper, just like that, and then carry it to the drying rack. Be sure to wash your table up, put your water basin away, and rinse out your brush before putting it away. Do your best work.